My name is Sofia Kovalenko. Um, I'm a senior this year at Liberty High School. Uh, my name is Jack O'Connell. My name is Mia Williamson and I'm a junior at Liberty. I'm Jordan Lee. I go to Issaquah High School. Tarang Dalela. Um, I'm a senior at Skyline. My name is Paige Ryan. I'm a senior at Issaquah High School. I think the reason I wanted to be a student rep was because it gave me an opportunity to learn about the district and the board and how it worked because I didn't really know about the governance of our district and it's just something pretty important for a student and it was a really great way to learn more about it and be involved and stuff like that. The reason that I decided to become a student rep um, is because I really wanted to see like the diversity of opinions because I feel that you know, you, like you can only go so far, like within your friend group or within a classroom. So the main thing involved with being a school board representative is that you're assigned a couple executive limitations. Usually it's like three or so per student. And then you go back to your school and you collect those different inputs from different students about those executive limitations and how they're being implemented into the school. Um, and then when your executive limitation is being reviewed at a school board meeting, then that's when you have to go to the meeting and you give your two minutes of input. Okay, so just to succeed in this role, you will need some, uh, a lot of organizational skills just to manage your time effectively and reach the certain deadlines of the board meetings. And then just being an effective communicator is going to help you a lot in this role. If you can communicate with a lot of different groups in the position, um, and a lot of different students at the school. I think many people have the misconception that you need to be like a 4.0 GPA honor student to be a student rep. But really what's important is that you can connect with the students and learn about their opinions. We want a variety of student reps so they don't all have to be those honor students, you know. We would love student athletes and stuff like that because getting opinions from various people is the most important thing. I would say one of the things I enjoy most is kind of seeing how our school works and like the systems and like the implementations of the rules and everything. It like it all coll all collides into like this one like system that like as a normal student you don't really know how any of that works. But once you're like a student representative, you like it's really cool, and I enjoy like learning how um, just learning how our school works. I really enjoy going to the board meetings and presenting at the board meetings, which might sound crazy because it's a really nerve-wracking thing to do. But it really makes me feel like I'm contributing to my community and helping my students out. In my other like leadership positions in clubs and whatnot, it's usually just dealing with one or two teachers who are like your advisors um, or possibly like people from that come in to volunteer and stuff like that. You never really get to be able to talk directly to admin about things and about problems, which is a really big power and also a really big responsibility. So that's probably the coolest part of it. And I never really expected to enjoy it as much as I did, but it was a really great opportunity. I think the biggest challenge was, I think presenting at the meetings was, you know, it's kind of nerve-wracking when you have a panel of, you know, very authoritative people and it, it was difficult to kind of come to that and feel like you are valued and you're bringing actual, you know, realistic feedback. So that was a challenge at first, but I think you, you get over it and it becomes more natural. When you try to help people and you make a survey, like no matter how well worded it is, there's always going to be people that just want to criticize just for the sake of criticizing. And you got to just be able to take that as it is and move on and try to help the people that actually address it with respect and with the intent to make some changes. We had a check-in meeting on a Wednesday morning uh, just talking about how everything was going and we were talking about the position itself, right, because this is the first year we've had it, and I got to be in like a discuss discussion group with a student rep from Issaquah and the superintendent, and it was just really cool to find myself discussing the governance of our district for 30 minutes with our superintendent and another student. Right. Okay, so I would say the biggest memorable experience I had through the board was this, um, basically this board trip, which they call retreats, 
where we went, um, where us three board members went all the way to Olympia and we got to talk to um, state legislators and state senators and that was just so cool to be able to like give our input of what's happening here in Issaquah to like like a new level of like government and a new level of like like higher up people than you. I think the most memorable experience I had was probably going to the Capitol and representing our school and our school district. We talked about two major topics. We talked about special education funding and universal meals at schools and it was really cool to be able to give representatives from our state personal experiences from inside schools about those topics. I think it really persuaded them um, to want to help us a little more in our district. In terms of advice that I would give to other people like to not hesitate to reach out to, to people at all like whether that be your peers for an interview for example or like even the board or Ms. Zier, they're, they're very open people so if you have any questions you should definitely ask them. I definitely learned a lot about how the school works and it's also interesting to see uh, some student perspectives on these issues that I, maybe I didn't have myself and just to get that wide variety was very interesting and fun for me. The school board is looking for a diverse set of students who are able to come in as representatives and help the school board understand what's going on in schools and they don't need to be from all AP classes or ASB, you don't need any leadership experience to apply. You can always ask questions, everyone's going to be super kind to you and you're really just going to learn a lot about everything and it's going to make the school experience more fun for you. If you're on the fence about like, do I belong here in the board system, you do. Don't let the position intimidate you and don't let working with the board intimidate you. It's a great experience and it helps you learn so much about our district. It's definitely a choice for you and you should definitely consider it.